Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a repost from Allie Winters. The title is, We Must Be the Voice of Truth. And this word was originally posted June 5th, 2020. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you the redeemed of the Lord? If so, say so. Many Americans are becoming repulsed by the riots and rage, the lies, the hypocrisy within our nation's borders. Many are asking, why? What is going on? How did this happen? Seeking answers, their search must be met with the good news of Jesus Christ not more hatred, division, and darkness. We must be ready to make a defense to everyone who asks us to give an account for the hope that is in us, with gentleness and reverence, keeping a good conscience, so that in the thing in which we are slandered, and we will be slandered, mocked, and accused, those who revile our good behavior in Christ may be put to shame. We must be the voice of truth in the midst of the chaos, deception, lunacy, and lies. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and encourage with every form of patient instruction. For the time will come Pray this time has not yet arrived, when men will not tolerate sound doctrine, but with itching ears they will gather around themselves teachers to suit their own desires. Mountains of obstacles must bow before the word. Declare my word of truth over every hindering spirit, over every unrighteous act, coming against the nation and the Christian. Demonic powers, principalities, power of darkness will be destroyed as you speak my word over this nation. The America you have known is no more. Evil has a firm hold on America, yet my people refuse to take their authority and stand in silence watching as the nation falls. Prepare for battle on your knees. The darkness will be oppressive. Black evil surrounds. As my child, you must stand in faith, giving glory, honor, and praise to me for all that you have been given, regardless how dark the days, how thick the oppression, give glory, honor, and praise. Prepare for dark days ahead. Prepare for battle on your knees. A great time of testing is coming to test the resolve of millions. Pray earnestly for those lost in the grip of the evil one. Continue to intercede for those you love. One by one, they will come if you will pray. Have faith in God, for truly I say to you, who's, whoever says to this mountain, problem, situation, circumstance, crisis, be removed and be thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, he will have whatever he says. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you will receive them, and you will have them. And when you stand praying, forgive. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.